before we start the um, process of site loading your OTA updates, one well, reason why you're doing that is because you don't want to lose your data because you're not flashing um, a, a full, full flash of your ROMs, clean flash and stuff. So you don't lose your data, you just want to have an update and you can't wait for the on over the air updates coming because it's like very slow. You already have the OTA files ready and you want to site load into your machine into your phone so what you can do first of all is you go to settings like for this Nexus 6 itself you go to your about phone you go to your build number so once you're in develop option first first thing first what you need to do is to enable uh, USB debugging so make sure that it's ready so once you have USB debugging ready normally when you when you actually push in the cable you don't need your problem with this one, just put always allow so that your um, ADD uh, stuff can detect the machine, right? So when we have that ready, then we can move on to the uh, laptop on my computer side for the OTA setup. Okay, now we'll move on to the laptop side for the instruction on how you side load the OTA files into your phone. Okay. Okay, um, before we start, please make sure you have ADB installed. Like what I said prior in previous videos, uh, my favorite would be minimal ADB and fastboot because it's simple to use, easy to install, and um, it actually covers everything that is needed for you to flash your phone. So you need to actually download the whole entire Google SDK to do that. So I will leave a link down below for you guys to download it. If you don't have it, just download and install it. It's easy to use. So first of all, what you need to do is just to click on um, CMD. So you need to run. I don't think we need to do that, but normally I do that just in case I get stuck on any any of the problems and stuff. So from here itself, first of all, we want to check up that uh, before I continue. So make sure that once you have installed AD, minimal ADB password, please put the um, installation directory into the environment variables path so that you can access those commands everywhere in your uh, command prompt. So it will be easier for you to do your flashing, right? So first of all, we'll navigate to where the OK file is located. For me, it's here. So look at it. There's the OTA zip, Shamo OTA zip. So what you can do next is basically uh, do an ADB devices. So this ADB devices is really connected. It's there. So um, uh, you will need to reboot the fast boot first. Or you can, if you have other ways of entering recovery of your stop phone then you can do that but for me usually I will do it via uh, fast boot because it's easier and I do not need so many combinations and stuff to do so uh, so what you need to do now is do ADB reboot folder and your phone should be rebooted into fast boot right so we will continue uh, I'll show you uh, please refer to the video on, on how you get into recovery from the fast boot so when you're in fast boot, normally you just move the uh, volume rocker up to uh, where, where is the uh, recovery mode, then you press on power button, so they will get rebooted into recovery. So when you see that icon, no commands icon there, so what you need to do is to uh, press and hold the power button and press volume up, and then you will see recovery. Right, so once you have that, just move yourself to Apply update from ADB. You can see apply update from ADB. Right, so just press on the power button itself. So you'll see that now it's in the mode where you accept the ADB files, right? So so we will move on to the uh, laptop for instructions. Once you are in uh, once you are in recovery mode, so what you can do now, as you know that is the um, OTA files that you have. So what you can do is do ADB site load. Just put in the shamu-ota.zip and you just press enter. So if you look at the phone, you should be able to see the, uh, the opening of the package, verifying of the package and stuff. So there will be, there'll be instructions internally on, uh, on, on the screen itself on the phone to show that it's running. And of course, on screen itself, you should be able to see um, the, the, prog 
progress of the, of the power push. So normally you just let this process go through and we'll wait. Okay, so now this, <clears throat> the side load has been done, so we'll basically look at the phone now on, on the next step of instructions. So we can actually exit close this now. So if you took a look at it, um, the install from ADB completed. So what you need to do now is to reboot the system, as you can see, right? So you just press on the power, uh, power button and they will reboot the system. So when it gets rebooted, it will take a while, so you just need to wait, wait it out. It will take like pretty long, I guess, for the first boot to happen. So yeah, let's just wait it out. So as you can see, it is now booted up and it's finished up some Android updates. Um, you can leave it to run for update. So now you should have the latest. Um, you can go to the settings. Take a look at it. Um, you should have the uh, latest October security patch, which is uh, I'm sorry, I mean the October, September security patch, which is the latest for Nexus Six as of now, right? So um, I I basically think Nexus Six should have should have a few more uh, security patches coming in. So it's up to you whether you want to actually run um, stop ROM or you want to actually have custom OS. So I will have a video uh, um, going forward of how we actually do custom ROM uh, flashing uh, for Nexus 6 uh, uh, on both Lineage OS as well as Mocky ROM. And we'll do some reviews on what, what, what kind of like, uh, features and stuff that they have. And um, that's all for today. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, um, if you like the video, please give it, give it a thumbs up. And... Um, yeah, if you don't like it, just uh, leave a comment down below what's the improvement stuff that I can do and um, do subscribe for any future updates uh, that I have. Um, see you, hope to see you soon. Bye.